Ooh, yeah, this one looks like a good one. But before we get too excited, does this figure have good hips? What's up, everybody? G.I. Joe Classified, 60th anniversary, Action Soldier Infantry. I had a couple of these ordered, but then I remembered that the hips on these figures are a complete hit and miss. And I didn't want to buy a bunch of junk. So I've got one. We're going to check them out together. He's fully loaded with accessories. Big, huge window. Very cool. Figure pose. And you've got two different flesh tones. Artwork on the other side. Let's get him out. Let's check him out. First out of the package was his figure stand. So that's really cool. This is the first time I've gotten one of these for a G.I. Joe classified figure. And a blister look at accessories. So we've got the brown flesh tone hands to go with the brown flesh tone face portrait. We've got a bunch of satchels and pouches. You've got the tripod for his turret. I don't know what kind of gun this is. It reminds me of like the M60, but I'm sure that it's not an M60, I guess. That's like really old, I guess. This is really nice here. It looks like an SMG of some kind. And you've got a pistol. This Does this have a little pouch? This has a little pouch here. Check that out. That is sick. All right, let's get this stuff out and let's take a close look. We're going to get him standing here for a minute. I don't remember what this is called right now. To me, it's a poncho, but I'm sure it has a cooler military name. And then we'll take this off when we take a closer look at the figure. Some really nice camouflage on it. It does have some tapering and some cuts in different places. So that's cool that it doesn't just sit like a cup over the top of his body. I'm glad they put those cuts. Very nice. This is a pouch that is functional, as we mentioned. And we're going to get all that off in a bit. This is one of his pouches, and it has a peg. So you can attach it to the figure, but you could also put it in that little poncho pouch. And one of the other little baggies. This one comes with the G.I. Joe star. And another pouch. It's cool that they're all sculpted differently. The largest of his little carrying pouches. And the smallest. There's this extra handle that I don't know what it's for. He has his radio. This guy is fully, fully loaded. His backpack. It's not very heavy, so I, I guess that it, there is some hollow cavity in here because it isn't super heavy, so really nicely done. You've got the bullet, bullet belt. I don't know what this is called other than that. <laughs> I always wanted to be in the military, but who knows if I would have made it. SMG, this part articulates. I'm sure this comes out. Yeah, it does. He also comes with dog tags. And there's no sculpting on either side of the plate of the dog tag. But they look really nice. The alternate brown flesh tone hands with the bare fingers. Brown flesh tone face portrait with the mask. Helmet. I wish the set would have came with two helmets, but then again, it already comes with that other head wrap. So at least in terms of accessories, does this come down? Nope, it does. Oh wow, and they're independent of each other, so that's cool. I'm sure this magazine or whatever this is called comes out. This is a beast. And his turret. Now, it does swivel and it sits super low to the ground. So he's laying down to lay waste to foes. All right, now a close look at the action soldier infantry. And this part should just come right off. Yep, comes right off. And so this is just like a hood of some kind for the poncho. And the poncho should just slip right off. I'm digging the camel that he has. It's like a, a really faint olive, maybe soap foam green, maybe. With some tan, but then you got the browns, the gray brown, that little stone color there. Really, really nice, man. So he's got the one pouch over here. I already have his pistol holstered. All these ports are going to be for these bags or these pouches that he has 
the vest, I think it sits high enough on the waist that you're gonna get your crunch. Yeah, check that out. You'll get your crunch at least forward, you know? That's cool. Then you get the hips into it. No problem. The notorious hips. The notorious HIPs, baby, baby. Let's check it out. Let's see if there's strain here. I don't see any strain mark from that hard force that I just did with the hips previously. I don't see strain. Let's see, let me do this a little bit. In addition to feeling smooth, that plastic hip is sturdy because I'm pulling on it, I'm pulling on it, and I don't see that white warp, li that white warp line. He does have the butterfly there, so really nice, man. You're gonna get articulation in the waist because this vest doesn't extend all the way past down his belt line, so that's really dope. And let's just see exactly how much range. You got the swivel there, of course. You got the drop down hip, which I don't care for. Decent forward and back split, despite all the belts and everything else. Decent split, even with the belts. Really nice. And the pistol is holstered, so check that out. You can get him holding the weapon with both hands, no problem. What I want to do today is, for our theme comparison, is just look at some other soldiers. I grew up... That was my first love, Army, military action figures, the little green guys. Uh, and then, you know, G.I. Joe came out one day and it was like, wowzers. So let's look at some other really cool soldiers. But then specifically in the classified line, I want to look at some other great base bodies that I like to use for some, some, for some simple pop and swap customs. So starting out right away with some base G.I. Joe bodies that I think are really perfect for some simple customs. The base criteria for me is do they have the good hips and the G.I. Joe Grunt has great hips. You're going to get some really cool alternate helmets so that you could have a couple of extra grunts. I did a, a simple black wash here and it darkened up his outfit. I gave him some slightly longer boots, made him a little bit taller. And hell yeah, this is one of my favorite base bodies for customs in the G.I. Joe classified line. Make me some soldiers. Next up. Sergeant Stalker's body. I got this portrait from uh, Hasbro Pulse, the selfie series. This is the 2.0 selfie. And it fits perfectly on the outback neck peg. And then I used a Sergeant Stalker body. And this is another figure that I think it has a really nice, simple, fatigue, army green look. And it has outstandingly great hips, cool accessories, nice pistol, nice rifles. And I think he has that thing that's called like a baklava, um, that scarf. Um, I might have the name wrong again, but this is another G.I. Joe classified figure that is awesome for a uh, simple pop and swap custom. And last but not least today, in terms of pretty cool G.I. Joe base bodies, we're going to look at Dusty. Now, he doesn't have the green going on, but he does have the desert sand kind of camo. And it works with our Action Soldier Infantry Edition. But he also has great hips. He has a really cool helmet with the desert neck scarf. He's got this boot, the knife in the boot. Great hips. And he's a tough looking figure with some camo on his face. And Dusty is a pretty decent figure also for some pop and swap customs. And rounding out cool soldiers today. We'll bring out Mesco's Snake Eyes release. Haven't done a proper review on this guy yet. I am going to get to it because it is an outstanding, outstanding action figure. I've just been checking him out and messing with him a lot. But he looks so tough, so awesome. And if you're going to have a comparison with soldiers, you're going to have your Snake Eyes or your team isn't going to win. A Joy Toy Infinity Soldier. So now this is a four inch action figure hyper articulated articulation in the wrist at the waist you could take off all of these armor elements this vest his backpack has a removable knife i mean this is an absolutely gorgeous looking soldier check this out his boots i mean he is super hyper articulated this joy toy right now has this market what I feel like is basically cornered, man. They they are rocking this small soldier scale. And I'll bring out another Joy Toy figure. This is from their Warhammer line, 4-inch. 
This gentleman is like, his name is like Sergeant Power Fist or something like that. But it is from the Warhammer line and it is the uh, Astra Militarum is the name of his squadron or something like that. Dude, his, na his name is Power Fist. Look at his Power Fist. That is sick. You've got the hose attachment to his back. It's got the skull right there, bro. Super highly articulated. Swivel in the legs, double jointed knees and all that stuff. Nice little comparison today. The G.I. Joe Action Soldier Infantry is a hit. I am a fan of the G.I. Joe Classified Series. I'm not a fan of the hit and miss hip situation. But we've got a hit here and he's loaded with accessories. I'm looking forward to picking up at least one or two more of those so I can make some customs. Hell yes. As always, everybody, thank you so much for coming out and sharing in the experience of collecting toys as an adult. Until next time, everybody. Thank goodness. It's playtime.